guys, Ash here from Raid Shadow Legends coming at you today in uh, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. How you all doing? I'm doing fantastic, man. I am, uh, I'm in a good mood lately. I've been feeling Raid lately. I've been uh, really enjoying it. I don't know why, because nothing's going on the whole damn game. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm, uh, I'm really into it, but I don't know. Just experimenting with new teams, new champions, and stuff like that. I've done a few guides. One on a rare Eviscerator lately. One on my Ciliac Priest Orn. And I don't know. Just trying to optimize my teams and stuff like that. Maybe I'm a sicko. I have no idea. Maybe I'm like a glutton for punishment, but I just really enjoy still, uh, still chugging along in Rain Shadow Legends. I say all that to know, uh, to say, I I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, by the way, if you're one of those people who don't want to hear about any other game at all, right? I skipped up on like all promotional stuff on Dragon Air. Not to say that the game's not good or bad or anything like that, but I can only focus my attention in so many different areas, right? So I passed up, frankly, a lot of money to cover that game. You but I am playing Watcher, right? Watcher of Realms. I'm not here to, there's not a promotion for Watcher of Realms, not paid or anything like that. And it's really not even to, to compare Raid negatively to this game, but uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I had not played a lot of gacha games before Raid Shadow Legends, you know, I've been playing it for over 40 years now, so I'm very well acquainted with the model and stuff like that, but playing a game, a fresh game, it's cool because you can take the best ideas and be like, why doesn't Raid have that? Like, that seems so obvious to have. I also like to live dangerously. As you wish, sir two things it comes down to, right? They're both, one's quality of life and one's like, I don't want to say a fatal flaw, but maybe I do want to say a fatal flaw of Raid Shadow Legends. And that is, I think the game, actually, before I give you the fatal flaw, let me show you the quality of life, dude. I just uh, recorded a video comparing Raid to Watcher, like in all the ways on the Watcher of Realms YouTube channel. So I'll link that in case you guys want to. I go back and forth between the games. But in this game, like everything's the same in terms of upgrading champions and they call them heroes in this game, which is the bane of my existence. But they have this one feature called Quick Star Up. Oh my God. Well, you can't really see it right now because I just did it in the other video. I just did like, like I don't know, 30 of them but you don't have to go in there and like manually one champion at a time, go in there like in raid in the tavern, you know, and level them up or, or campaign farm and then upgrade their rank and then sacrifice them to somebody else. And then, and then level them up again and find the food. Like that process can take, you know, a half an hour to, to, to level up one champion, to get all the food arranged and stuff in this game. It is literally one click. Quick star up, basically you choose the heroes and the resources that you need, the, the EXP, the, the silver or gold, whatever, you know, and then you just hit quick star up and boom, it just converts it like three to four stars, boom, quick star up, there it goes. And then if I wanna, you know, upgrade the uh, the champion, the hero, uh, they're there, right? Like I would, I don't- You're wrong. Uh, Right now I don't have anybody leveled up enough to do that, but it's just ready to go. That's it. Oh man, they need that feature so badly in Raid. Like that is a nice, nice feature because it is tedious to uh, to to rank up a champion in Raid Shadow Legends. It really is. At least to me it is. Like upgrading rank is, it's never fun. It's never enjoyable. And there's so many things that are enjoyable in Raid Shadow Legends. God damn it, get rid of the things that aren't in enjoyable. Get rid of those things, you know? But the biggest thing guys in the games is the lack, the fatal flaw is the lack of like a social element to this game. And before you just click off and you say, okay, whatever, dude, that's that's lame. Uh, it's really two components, right? Number one is friends list. Okay, so friends list, I'm not into chatting in these games. No hate to those of you who are. Around me. Oh, Ash the Goat, as if I like planned that. Thank you, uh, near, near a Ford 98. I didn't plan that. I first saw the friends list, I didn't think much of it, dude. I don't want friends and I'm not looking to chat in a video game all day, right? I'm an adult, damn it. But I have to say, they have all kinds of cool stuff associated with your friends, right? In Plarium, it's just a referral program. It means nothing. There's no, there's not, there's nothing. There's no social element to it other than your, like, your, your, your uh, uh, clan chat. That's it. But in this game, you can claim gifts and give gifts to all your friends. Furthermore, there's friend assist. I can give my friends my heroes to use in battle and they can give me theirs. And then I get rewards for doing so. 
I mean, how many times have we complained about not having X, Y, or Z uh, champion in raid? This is beautiful because I can be like, hey, friend, what, 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 what hero do you need, you know? And what champion do I need? And it's just like, that is awesome. And you get rewards for it, right? Like I claim gift and give gift. I've already done it the max today. How do you even recruit in Raid Shadow Legends? Choose peace. God, don't go in global chat. Number one rule is do not even think about chatting in global general chats in any of these games. It's, it's, it's what? I don't even want to say the P word, but it's like pedos. <laughs> it's like weirdos, spammers, fishers, hackers, pedos. Get out of there. I don't want to be recruiting in that environment. Thank you very much. But I say all that to say that honestly, uh, how do you recruit, man? Like, hey, if we have a, you know, like, how do you recruit in this game? <laughs> At least in this game, you can see somebody in battle in the arena, whatever, and then you can just friend request them and, hey, you want to join my, want to join my guild? Want to join my clan? You know, like, it just makes it a lot easier on clan leaders and, and, and their deputies or whatever, co-leaders, you know, uh, but... The other big thing on the social, there's two other things, is number one is like, okay, there's achievements in, in raid and stuff like that, right? But you have the hall of honor, right? I can basically get these medals and I can put them on display on my little profile. It might not sound like much, but these are the social little, little features that really keep players, that make players proud and have an ownership of their account, right? I can click on any account in this game and I can see their best records, right? Uh, oh, what is their best times in each each dungeon? Oh, what are they running? What's the best, how, how, how fast are they clearing campaign? What? How are they doing on, the tr uh, on, the, on their factions? How are they doing in the tide? And again, for clan management and guild management, it's so easy in this game to say, okay, uh, do I want to recruit this this guy, right? Do I want to recruit them? Well, let's go ahead and, and look through their entire profile and see, you know, see what their, their credentials are, so to speak, you know? And it's a good bragger way, thing to do, right? So I can go into my guild and I can go to my guild members and I can look at somebody and I can see their, 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 okay, who their most used uh, hero showcase, who are they showcasing? Oh, again, and I can look through all that stuff that I just mentioned. And then the last thing, guys, is in, in Raid, I had a video talking about balancing in Raid Shadow Legends. And in that video a few days ago, or last week or whatever, I mentioned, you know what, what, what I think Raid needs? I'll tell you what I think they're gonna do, but you know what I think they need? And then I told you what I thought they were gonna do, and I never thought, I never said what I think they need. <laughs> way to go, Ash, way to go. Keeping that D plus ranking as a YouTuber here in Raid Shadow Legends. What I think they need is to play more on the social element of the game. And I can't help but to always go back to Clash of Clans, whether you played it or whether you have never played it. It's where I got my start 10 years ago on YouTube. And when they introduced Clan vs. Clan, that's when things, and I'm not talking about stupid clan versus clan tournament. I'm not talking about who can spend more, Plarium. Oh yeah, I know everything. I'm talking about we're going head to head. We're going head to head. That is what, like, because it all comes down to what is the feeling that will make us wake up in the morning and like be super excited to play Raid Shadow Legends. What is the feeling that every second, every hour that goes by that you're not logged into Raid Shadow Legends, that you feel a little FOMO? What will give us that? Because those are the feelings that extend the lifestyle of a game. Those are the feelings that we need to, we need to give to the player base, right? And what is it for me? It's working with my damn clan. It's working with my clanmates, not on a spending contest. It's working to achieve victory over another clan in battle. In battle being the key word, right? So there's so many different ways to do it. You can look at the Clash of Clans model. You can look at the, the Star Wars model. You can look, I had Darth on like a year and a half ago breaking down how amazing uh, Galaxy, what was it, Galaxy here? I don't know what the hell it was, but it, there's a lot of good models, right? You can have the other clans map and you can divvy up the responsibilities. You can have limited of heroes face. Like there's so many ways you could do clan versus clan in real battle. But it, there, what what else is there better than in these sort of games than instead of working together to hit a clan boss, you know, which is great. I, I actually think it's good, the clan bosses, right? They were working together to achieve something. But it's, lo it's, it's, it's lost its luster, right? We need a way to work together to actually, I want to go in and I want to say, hey, Fur Hat, 
What? Oh, hey, Liquid. Hey, Captain Flicka. Hey, David. Hey, USMC. Hey, Cannon. Guys, how are you? Oh, look at that battle you did. Look at those. Oh, look at look what you did. Wow. Like, I want to watch their battle. I want to watch them live as they're attacking. And I want to say, I want to say, Agalins. Dude, what the hell are you thinking, bro? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, you dumb dumb? I'm just joking. Aglan's our clan leader, so I can mess with him. But that's that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like, that to me is super enjoyable. Real-time action where I can watch my my clan mates go to battle with another clan and be victorious, you know? Obviously, matchmaking is crucial here. We can't need it needs to be even matchmaking and it needs to be an element of even if you're a, a uh, 1 million power account, you can add something of value to your clan war, even if you're not a 20 million po player power account, right? So it has to be like, you know, there has to be chores or tasks for everybody to be able to contribute. I think they could do this. The problem is with Plarium lately is it's been a bit too greedy. And I, I, I say that respectfully, right? I say that respectfully because, you know, we know what we're getting into in this game. We know it's gonna be a spendy game potentially, right? Not to say you can't enjoy it without spending, but we know there's a potential there. Uh, however, I feel like their features lately have been too geared towards only heavy monetization, or at least first and foremost, you know? So they'd have to look at this as something that will actually extend the life cycle of the game, ergo way more money in the long term. And hey, I'm gonna let Plarium in on a little secret. Acrobat CEO, if you're watching right now, this is important, I've been doing this for 10 years. I own a company for five years in this space, in marketing, okay? So I'm not just talking out of my ass here, but let me tell you something. You do the achievements like we, we talked about, right? Where you can show off your stuff and you create a robust and fair way for us to compete against other people. That peer pressure, that peer pressure that you feel that you don't wanna let your clan down, not in a tournament, a spending tournament, but rather in a real battle situation that is fair, that feels fair for the players. You're matched up against somebody who's the same power as you. That, that, is what's gonna get players to actually spend more. Yeah, it's psychological, because you don't wanna let your clan down, you're gonna feel reinvigorated, you're gonna be excited to play, you're gonna wanna upgrade your champions, you're gonna wanna get new ones, but that is, that will, that, that pass, not going so aggressive with monetization, but with an amazing social feature in the game, will end up getting you a lot of money. Anyway, guys, that's gonna where we're gonna end this video today. Got a little ranty towards the end, but hopefully you guys appreciated it. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree with me. I would love to hear from you guys as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, guys.